Gotcha. <laughs> okay, so this is any card at any number by Stefan Sewell. And here's the deck. Once you can do any card at any number, you really want to learn how to do all the things that lead up to it because it's really amazing. And uh, what leads up to it is ESP. So the first thing we talk about is the fact that any image that you see in your mind's eye, if you just think of that image and then you project that thought, that thought goes into other people's uh, brains because electrons or um, electromagnetic frequencies pulsate past the human brain and can be received by other brains. It's possible. It has not been proven, but it is possible. So let's try it. Nick, would you pull out a card and just look at whatever card you you see there? And is it a jack? Yes. Is it a red? Is it a red jack? Yes. Is it the jack of hearts? It is. Wow, this is really cool. Let me take that from you. There's the jack of hearts. Now, you know that I'm mixing the cards. I've been shuffling prior to this. I did actually many, many shuffles. They're all mixed up. And yet when you pick any card and look at it, any card and look at it, you're looking at it, right? And even if nobody else saw the three of clubs, I would still need it back for this next demonstration. <laughs> I would still need it back for the three of clubs. <laughs> now, the thing about that is, I could be reading not just your mind, but the back of the cards. If each back is different, you would see a flickering of dots as I ripple through the cards. Each back would be a slightly different look, but they all look the same, you can tell. Because a flickering one would be... So it's, it's legit. But just to prove that I'm not that I don't have some new way of reading the backs of cards. Hide the back when you withdraw the card. So you're going to need both your hand. Yep, two hands. So one hand grabs the card, the other hand hides it, and I did not see the back of the card. So I couldn't know that it's the two of spades. It's, it would be impossible, impossible for me to know that. Right? Yes. Okay, that's impossible. <laughs> now, it's one thing to know somebody's thoughts because when they think of a card yeah. and they see the card, they see the image of the card. That image is actually um, uh, the brain forms electromagnetic resonant um, vibrations, basically, that can be sensed. They, they're measured outside of the brain and they can be sensed by other people. Now, we don't know if people can interpret those images. But it might be that they can. Well, apparently you can. <laughs> and, and apparently, if there's if this isn't a trick, which it isn't, but I'm, I mean, we're going to prove that in a minute. Then I could, but just to prove that would be important. So this time I won't touch the cards when you pick the card. Last every other time, I was touching the cards, and it, it's very helpful. You can feel a lot when someone's holding the card. So we're going to remove that ability now. I, I can't feel it. So now you cut the deck about halfway, somewhere in there, anywhere random, to where you're sure that that is a randomly selected cut to card. Yeah. Take a look at your randomly selected cut to card, and you can show everyone else, and put it over here on the discard pile. And you didn't know this, but take about half of those to bury your card and bury it. Good. There's no way to count the edges of cards, so I don't know exactly where it is. But I know it's in the middle of there, so in, in burying it, you've uncovered another card. You didn't even know you were going to have that one. Take a look at it. All you got to do is remember these two cards, that one okay. and the one before that. And take your new randomly cut two card, and place it on the discard pile, take all the others, and bury your card. Now. Both cards are buried, and I did not touch the cards while they were being selected. For the first time, I'm actually picking up the deck and touching the cards. I can already sense the presence of a queen of clubs. 
<laughs> and the spades was, I have a sense of a nine, blowing nine, the nine of spades. Now, it's one thing to know the images in other people's minds, but it's another thing to find the location. Remember I said you can't count the edges of the card? You can't! So if I can tell you that the Nine of Spades is the exact 12th card down, and the Queen of Clubs is exactly 27, that would be a miracle. That's unexplainable. Okay? Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, <clears throat> 12. This is the 12th card right here. We're looking for the Nine of Spades. 12! <laughs> 13, this is 13, right? 13, what did I say? 14, 15, I said uh, 27, didn't I? So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. This is the 27th card, and it is the queen of blood. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So all of these cards shuffled and mixed and, and gone through here with randomness. Uh, led us to find two cards at exact locations. That's called amazing. two cards. Well, it's <laughs> yeah, called amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called amazing. Well, but it's amazing. also called, you know, two cards at two different locations. But what if somebody could say any card at any location mm. and it were actually possible without me messing with the deck? Let's check. I have an app for this. <laughs> so the app has a question mark. And if you would. Brian, why don't you touch the question mark, and the app should appear. Yes. Can you read what the app says? Welcome to Stefan Souls. Any card at any number. Yes. Always a wonder to remember. Always a wonder to remember. So you tap the always a wonder to remember part while I continue to mix the cards. Okay, now you're going to, um, I'm just mixing, mixing, mixing. Okay. And you're going to, what does it say to do? Pick a card. Oh, pick a card. So sh can you show the... They can't see, but at least we could cut in. And you know, uh, you tap one through what, 13? Yep. <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh, okay. What number did you pick? 10. 10. So then it, it, it does it say to pick a suit? Now so pick what a does suit. it say? Uh, you're selected, 10. Now pick a suit. Okay, so let Nick touch the suit. So this would show the camera real quick. So hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds. I'm going to set the deck down, but they're picking the card. So now what does it say? You selected the Ten of Diamonds. Ten of Diamonds. They selected the Ten of Diamonds. Now choose a number for the location of your card in the deck. The number that this card is at when we count down from the top, any number between 1 and 52. <laughs> the dramatic Flat. effect. You chose the location, 21. Yes. Okay. Can I push the yes? Yeah, yeah. You push the yes, or you agree, yes. We are now looking to find the 10 of diamonds at 21. 10 of diamonds, Ten of diamonds at, at 21. 21. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 10 of diamonds at 21. Okay. 10 of diamonds at 21. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This is the twenty-one card. Twenty-first card. Twenty-one. Twenty-one card. It's the one. The one that we've been looking for. The twenty-first card. It is the ten. Ten of diamonds. It doesn't get better than that. Yeah, I take one. I didn't say 52. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. So now, uh, there's a wow button here on wow. the app. There's a wow button. If you are wowed, <laughs> tap the wow button and okay. read out loud what it says. Unbelievable. We witnessed the holy grail of card magic. <laughs> Stefan Sewell's any card at any number in which my card, the Ten of Diamonds, was absolutely at my number 21. 21. 
life can never be the same ah. after a miracle, which is why we're marking this miracle with a picture for all of eternity to remember. And the picture is not only a <laughs> screenshot, which I will take now, okay. of the screen, okay. but it's also, and I will send that to people, uh, <laughs> right after I take a real selfie, which is going to be built into the app. Woohoo! Yeah. So, All on. right, yeah, yeah, you better come on in here. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't join right. the magic. <laughs> okay, and, and it's a turn. How do we do this? Yay! Perfect. Ten of diamonds Cheers. at 21. Yay! Uh, how fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it. Oh, what a hoot. <laughs>